Okay, so this is a Miel washing machine we had have that uh, was washing, and um, at the end of the wash, the clothes were still wet as if it hadn't been spun properly. So I took it apart. It's not difficult to get on the top off those two blind screws to the left and right of the lid. They're hidden with plastic covers. Just undo them. It pops off. A bit frightening, but there you go. Okay, so this is the bit you need to take off. This black belly piece here. <coughs> it's just got two rubber lugs. It's not held on particularly well. That pipe there I'm pointing to is the pipe that's blocked. Just a little spring clip on the bottom. Undo that. Undo this uh, this is a one-way valve in here uh, probably should have used a pair of pliers to squeeze the bottom of that just pop it off there's a little a little ball in there and that's like a one-way valve to stop water going back into the machine so as I say two rubber lugs undo those pull it off uh, undo this little beastie uh, Jubilee clip there and pull that clear and then pull the thing off in reality you could just take that pipe off there and at the top of the Y piece I now realize that would have been an easy way make sure that you drain the water out you'll get a bit of crap comes out the bottom surprisingly filthy considering it's a washing machine but there you go okay so then uh, I took this out and tried to clean it without taking the, um, the black hoses out of the white Y piece that crap in the sink is what came out earlier I've realized halfway through this might be useful to someone I used this pipe and tried to ram that down there got some of it out uh, I think ultimately I, I did this wrong I should have just run that pipe under hot water um, to make it a little flexible around the Y piece and then just pull it off the Y piece I've got a crochet needle there always handy it's in most toolboxes nowadays i think halfords are stocking them <coughs> yeah so pull the pipe off you see i was a bit wary about breaking it but run it under the hot tap first make it nice and warm so um what i did was i put some put some water in and then quite unhygienically blew that down until eventually i got the blockage clear um you'll see it in a minute it's a bit like popping a pimple it's quite satisfying in a very strange way but this is just tedious i spent a lot longer than this i think i've cut about eight minutes of me wasting my life on this but you'll now know that all we need to do is to take that long black hose blow down if it makes you feel good or get <coughs> something that's not sharp that's the key uh disconnect the black hose from the white piece there's the gunge coming out oh how exciting um and then yeah as i was saying you just just clear it all out but of course if it's not attached it's so much easier and here i go with the old crochet hook uh, size eight uh, i'm just making that up now and here we go oh there you go the great reveal right so that, that's that piece um, and now it's just a case of sticking it back on really not difficult if you've got it off you'll get it back on really uh, one thing I would say is I tried to use a screwdriver to put the overflow clip back on and what I should have done uh, was get a pair of uh, pli uh, Jesus, long nose pliers and just squeeze the two ends in um, and then pushed it back and you'll see it in a minute jeez uh, 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 I've got a real f thing with playing with water uh, there's the black seal that goes inside of that little one way valve end there and don't forget you need to put the ball back in there otherwise there's a risk that water could backfill into the machine which I'm assuming would cause you some problems if not just dirty washing at the very least ok clip it all back up together again and then as if by magic the wonder of the internet uh, we're back at the machine right this is a little confusing that's the floor at the bottom okay there's the machine <coughs> so i don't know why i'm talking you through this probably because it says admiration as opposed to admiration which would be slightly more interesting but there's no pressure on this so it's just a case of 
resting it on and then putting it up. All the others have got this big strong Jubilee clips, but these haven't. That sits on there. And th that was a little awkward to get in, the one that goes into the drum itself. Not insurmountable. But as I say, if you just pull it off of the the wire piece, that's it. Don't forget to put your ball back in the valve. Those are the two lugs at the bottom there. You could just squeeze them in. As you can see, I used a screw. Well, you can't see I used a screwdriver. Now this, for some strange reason, I decided I would set the, the pump out. Really simple. Uh, three spring clips. The God knows what I'm doing now. That's quite interesting, isn't it? Yeah. Well, anyway, I'm sure I'll get around to it. Three spring clips. This one just clip and pull it clear. This one was already done because I've taken that pipe off. And then the large one from the machine itself. Pull those clear. And that's the old dog's bowl which I've since thrown away. This has got a little cover on it. Pull the cap off, give it a wiggle, pull it a cap, pull it clear. And then I think it's a 10mm Torx. I'm going to say 10 but it's probably an 8. Uh, really difficult job. Uh, undo that as if by magic it falls off. That's it. Then I just gave that a quick rinse out in fresh water. Nothing too clever. Might have used a bit of fairy up and a cloth. But that was it. Didn't need doing, but it was there to be done. So I did it. Putting the rest of the machine back together. Not overly difficult. Oh, this belly belly thing here. You see the two Jubilee clips. You only need to undo the top one of those, not the bottom one. The bottom one holds a plastic uh, filter piece in. It's probably worth taking out and giving a clean, which I clearly did, but couldn't be bothered to video. And then uh, put the whole washing machine back together. And you, my old friends, are living the dream. Saved yourself, I would say, probably 150 quid. Or if my wife had away, 600 pound, because she would have made me buy a new washing machine. I wonder if it really costs 600 pound. Anyway, there you go.